Hi, my name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in St. Pete, Florida. I'd like to talk a little bit about what is a positive correlation in psychology. Correlational studies, or the purpose of correlational studies, is to really show the relationship between two variables. Um, there's three possible results. You can even either have a positive correlation, a negative correlation, or no correlation. Positive correlation, um, the variables, but if, if one variable increases, so does the other variable. In a negative correlation, if one variable increases, the other one might decrease. In no correlation, there's literally no relationship between the change or the intensity of the variables that are studied. A, a kind of a, an extreme way to look at this is smoking. A lot of people realize that smoking, or they think that smoking causes lung cancer, and most people would agree that it probably does. But if we really look at it, smoking is correlated and positively correlated with lung cancer. So one variable would be smoking, the other would be lung cancer. But we can't say that one actually causes the other. Now this is an extreme example, but hopefully it'll explain the positive correlation. If, if somebody has a genetic predisposition toward lung cancer, do they also have some type of personality characteristic that predisposes them to smoke? So. In, in a, a correlational study, we can never say that A causes B. We can only say that A is directly related in somehow to B. So if you have a change in one variable, you usually see a change in the other variable. My name is John Bosworth, and we're talking about what is positive correlation in psychology.